What's up dudes, Chooch back with another one. Today I'm putting on these E-Rides pedals right here. These are sweet, man. The fact that you can get pedals that are just mass produced now and that are this high quality, like I really suggest upgrading your pedals to something like this, man, because these, if you jump hard enough and uh, you land, these will explode. You can hear, these are the stock pedals, they're hollow on the inside. And I've actually jumped and landed and made these completely break and explode before on a big on a big jump. I overshot it, but uh, one of the best upgrades you can do to your EUC is definitely get new pedals. And I'm not just saying that. Uh, power pads and upgraded pedals. Pretty much every one of my LH unicycles has some form of upgraded pedals. Just the in motion. I've been riding that one stock uh, for a while with the stock pedals. My other InMotion V12 has uh, aftermarket pedals. Um, that one has aftermarket pedals. Pretty much every one of them does, but uh, they're really good. I just got these, this one on here perfect. You do need to put a little bit of time into it to use spacers and get it right and make sure there's not gonna be any movement and play in it and get it to where it folds out like this. So I'll show you how to do that on the other side over here. Um, it's, it's not just something you do real real quick right? you gotta spend a little bit of time on it to, to make it to make it right uh, but I'll show you how to do it you need to use Loctite blue Loctite because this these components right here even though this isn't really technical stuff if this one of these bolts backs out while you're riding you're kind of screwed you know because you need you need your pedal to, get, to ride the thing to get back home so I, I suggest using blue Loctite if you don't have blue Loctite you really need to get some that's one thing that I'll have on like the Amazon. Uh, it just comes in like every four or five months, just a thing of blue Loctite, just so I always have some. It's good to do that, good to do that, because that stuff, you can use it for everything. Um, these pedals come with an Allen wrench. A lot of you will probably just use this because it comes with it. This thing, is, it works fine, but I, I like having my own Allen wrench. This is just an Allen driver right here and um, it just works way better. Easier and more comfortable to use. If you get a set of them, you'll love them, and uh, they'll last forever, so. And I also have Allen, Allen bits for my, um, my uh, impact driver, which I use for a lot of stuff on the EUC. And those are really cheap, man. You can get like the Allen bits from Tar Harbor Freight, whatever, man. You're just working on the EUC. So literally just get cheap tools like from Harbor Freight, dude. You're not working on something that needs a lot of force on it. So you don't have to expend a ton of money on the tools. If you want to buy expensive tools, you can for sure. They'll last even longer, but you don't need it for EUC. If you're working on big block engines and stuff like that, yeah. Because you just need all, all that torque on it. You know, you don't want something to be breaking on you. But for little repairs on EUC, just cheap tools will do. You can get a lot of them like that. It's how to get that out without having to flip the unicycle over, for instance. She was pliers going the opposite way. Just little things like that you can do just to make it easier to work with. I just pull this thing out, this rod. Tip. Okay, right here is one thing to note. A lot of you old school fellows like me, uh, this, this bolt used to not be here. See this bolt right here? This used to not be here. So take your Allen wrench. This one's going to be kind of tight. Back it out, and then pull this. You don't, you don't need to pull this bolt all the way out. Just back it out a little bit and take some pressure off it. What this does is it puts torque on this pedal so it can unfold slowly and not just slam down. See, now that I back it out, it's just flopping around. That's all that bolt does. A lot of the old unicycle used to not have that. Straight up, this bolt. This bolt was introduced on like the InMotion V12 with the pedals on that one, I think. So just pull this rod out. You need, you need the spacers. Um, so spacers are gonna come stock on it. So the way I did it on the other side, guys, is I put, let me check it, make sure how I'm gonna do it. Make sure you do your spacers. Oh shit, same on the front and back. So I got one fat one up front, this fat spacer up front, and then the stock spacer behind it. Okay. Right. 
I'm just looking to see how I have the spacer layout on the other side. Because these spacers are different sizes and you want it to be even. So here, and then go under here. These are the new pedals and they come with spacers on them. And you want to use this pedal rod with the new pedals. The old pedal rod's too big to use with these new pedals. So it comes with everything you need though. These pedals come with everything, including the tool you need. Put them on. And what you can do here, see, so I have two of these spacers. We are going to do this is run this fat spacer up front and then this spacer behind it and then one spacer on the back. And what that's going to do also is it's going to put my pedals farther forward overall. So it could be farther back this far or farther forward this far. So you got a little bit of space right there. That's how much you have to work with where you can adjust them. You could put all the spacers in the back and run your pedals to where you have more leverage in the back and that'll give you better braking. If you run all your spacers in the front right here, it'll give you more acceleration forward because your toes are farther forward or your weight's farther forward. But I like it kind of in the middle, but with a little bit more on the front, so with a little bit more acceleration in there. And it really is that technical to where you can, you, and you don't want to put in a, you want to spend time on this, guys. I mean, it's tempting to just rush it, but don't. And you want to make sure this flat part of this rod is facing this bolt right here so that this bolt can seat on this rod and keep everything locked in place. You don't want this to be on like the edge of it. So put this in here like this. Actually, I'm already messing up, so look at that. I need to put just one washer, one in the back, one small washer in the back that this pedal comes with what I'm using right here. Just put it in there like that and kind of wedge it in there and then get that washer in between there. I'll bring you all in here so you can see what's going on. See what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to get this rod in between these washers. And it's sometimes it is not as easy as it looks, even if you've done it a lot. There it is right there. So there, I got the rod through those washers right there. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of push it in a little bit on the back. Make sure it's even in there. And then what I'm gonna do is take these, these bolts and Loctite them. Put a little bit of Loctite on these bolts right here. You don't need much, just tap it on there like that. It's about how much you need. And then, take my five millimeter Allen wrench. Screw that baby in there. And then take this one, a little bit of Loctite. Not much. Loctite these bolts, it, it, honestly, this is one little thing that a lot of, not a lot of people do, but if you're riding rough trails and stuff and one of these backs out on you, uh, you're going to be hating it because it's simple to do it. And if you lose one of these and you lose your dead gun pedal rod while you're riding, and you know, it's just, you don't want that to happen. So just Loctite them, they won't ever come out. But when you need them to, when you need them to come out for maintenance and stuff, it's easy to do. But then there's not a lot of play in that pedal. You see that? You don't want there to be a lot of play in there. Because if this bolt right here comes loose, this bolt will probably never come loose. This is gonna be what holds this in place firmly. This bolt will, once we tighten this. But you, once, if this ever fails, you don't want it to have a lot of play in here and it be an abrupt shift. And it'll throw you off balance while you're riding. I've had it happen to me before. So this is why you put the spacers in here. Some people think you don't need them, but the reason you put them in there is if this ever comes loose, and you're riding, you don't want it to shift really far, like forward or back. And before that, you had to have spacers in there, before this bolt existed. You had to have these spacers in there to keep this all from just shaking around the whole time. But this, watch this. This is gonna, this bolt right here is gonna control the flappiness of this pedal right here. So, tighten this bolt down a little bit. It already has Loctite on it. it probably needs a little bit more. We'll just go ahead and go with it. But see that now, how that pedal's not flopping around? And you can tighten it even more, so it's easier to do with this one. Tighten it even more. Um, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Come on now, you know this. <laughs> All right, so the more you tighten this, the tighter the pedal's gonna get, and the less it's gonna flop around. You see that? 
So for you guys that want your pedal to actually come down elegantly like most people do, this is why this bolt is in, it's in the V12s now, and they're also implementing it like on the Master and whatnot. It's not on wheels like the, um, the EX10 and, and such, but this, see that now? It's cool. All right. Anyways, dudes. Phew. Got the pedals installed. That's how easy it is to do. It's not very hard. Take a little bit of time though to tighten everything. Make sure your spacers are in there. Make sure this is tight. You don't want to over tight. You want to, these pedals to kind of fold out like this. And then boom, tighten that one a little bit. And you're solid, dude. Ready to roll.